This week on Fooditis, we're featuring a Sea Ray 440 convertible. Now, these boats were originally designed as a sport fish model and remained in production for three years, starting in 1988. In the early 90s, they were redesigned and renamed sedan bridges, making them much more popular with recreational boaters. And a sedan bridge model still exists in the Sea Ray lineup. Today we're going to have a look at a pristine 1988 model with plenty of options, including a hardtop and diesel power. So let's head aboard for a closer look. Stepping aboard from dockside is easy with the Sea Ray's wide side decks and removable boarding ladder. The solid inward opening transom door also provides great access from the swim platform. The generous cockpit offers plenty of room for seating and moving about. In the cockpit is a bait prep station with plenty of storage that also hides convenient access to the fuel shutoff valves and the 30 and 50 amp power inlets are located conveniently in the cockpit as well. In the cockpit sole there are two large hatches to access a removable fish box that is ideal for storing gear and tools. Cockpit access to the engine compartment will ensure that the carpet stays clean in the salon. Down below there is ample room for servicing the two CAT 3208 diesels and other systems. Entry to the salon is through a sliding glass door with a phantom screen door added by the owner. The salon is bright and airy with plush fabrics and laminates with two tub chairs to port and a wraparound couch and high-low table that seats six to starboard. After port is the standard Sea Ray Entertainment Center that on this boat has been upgraded to include an LCD flat screen TV with Raymarine satellite, surround sound system, DVD player and stereo system with satellite radio. Now another great feature of the 44 besides the expansive salon is this great galley. Just two steps down from the salon so whoever's in the kitchen preparing the meals is not too far away. It has an awful lot of counter space for prepping, has a three burner electric stove, microwave, lots of cabinets for storage, and great food storage in a set of sub-zero fridge and freezers here under the counter, and for dry goods, even more storage below decks. Forward is the master stateroom with a king-sized berth that is bright and airy due to the mirrors, light laminates, recessed lighting, and overhead hatch with retractable shade and screens. To starboard is the guest cabin with two bunks and plenty of storage under the lower bunk in a built-in night table and hanging locker. To port is the head with a large vanity, vacuum flush head, separate shower stall, and separate entrances for the salon and master stateroom. This 440 convertible had a lot of extra features, like a large bank of gel house batteries to power the inverter, a combination washer dryer, central vac, and dual air conditioning systems. Access to the bridge is via a traditional ladder, and the captain's and mate seats are located aft in a traditional sport fish style that provides for an unobstructed view fore and aft. The console helm is expansive, with the engine gauges front and center. Equipped for serious cruising, the owner of this 1988 model has added a new Raymarine C70 Raider chart plotter that is backed up by a Rayathon plotter and PC-based Nobletech nav system. Navigation and communication redundancy is also carried forward with dual VHF radios and an autopilot. Forward of the helm, passengers will enjoy the convenient refrigerator, wet bar, and the comfort of the L-shaped bench seat. If you're just moving up to diesels, you'll be impressed with the Sea Ray's handling around the docks due to large props and high torque. Getting the 23,000 pound boat underway takes a few moments as the turbos on the cat diesels spool up. Once on plane, this 44 footer cruises smoothly at 20 knots and tops out at 25 knots. The modified deep V hull with 17 degrees of dead rise handles turns gracefully, exhibiting little bank in the turns. If you're considering moving up to a larger vessel, this 1988 Sea Ray is an affordable entry into the mid-40s range. Although the base engines were gasoline, if you can find one with diesel power like this example, you'll find yourself moving into a boat suitable for long-range cruising for many years to come.